mission of the IR residency at the Medical College of Wisconsin is to be able to train the most clinically competent, technically advanced interventional radiologists in the country. Here at MCW, we really have a well-rounded program where we are kind of focusing and have experts in so many different aspects of IR. That is something special and that's something that's not, that's certainly not everywhere that you practice. Within IR specifically, we have leaders within oncology, leaders within vascular disease, leaders within musculoskeletal palliative pain interventions, uh, leaders within research, like bench clinical research. Um, we have leaders nationally. So we have this shared leadership, but at the same time, we have this family atmosphere where there's a culture of we're in this together. I know that when I come to work, that if something happens, people are going to cover me and people are going to be backing me and concerned for me and, and looking out for me. So, you know, yes, we work hard, but we're also a family. I came to MCW, it wasn't really a coming home uh, selection for me. I didn't grow up in the area, but MCW provided a unique opportunity uh, to join what I thought is the most cutting edge, forward thinking clinical practice, delivering um, the full spectrum of IR care. Um, they had established leaders in the field uh, and they were 100% uh, singularly focused on really building a clinical IR practice and they had already had a track record of doing so. So it was really exciting to join uh, the practice at MCW you know, despite not being as close to home as we had originally thought we would be and, and case in point now 13 years later this is home for us. I did medical school here in Milwaukee at Medical College of Wisconsin and had the opportunity to come back here for fellowship because I knew the quality of the fellowship and was excited by that chance. So moved back here for a year for fellowship and actually trained under a lot of the people that I would eventually be working with. It was by far my, my best year of training, my favorite year of training. And when I thought about the chance to kind of come back and be on the other side of that and, and teach people in that environment, um, ultimately it was a no brainer. So as a fellow, when I started, um, I assumed that I would be moving back to Texas, um, you know, maybe joining a private practice there. I had no idea that I would be doing academic medicine or that I'd be staying at MCW. I never thought I'd be in the position I am now at, you know, a great institution and doing academic IR at a higher level. When I was a fourth year medical student doing an away rotation here, my first day coming in, we had, I think, and Evar, we had Dr. Tutton doing some of his complex and musculoskeletal interventions and just like a full palette of the full breadth of everything in IR that we could possibly do. And I was renting a room in this house in Tosa right down the street from the hospital. And I just remember getting home, calling Mark, my husband and saying, this is where we're going. It has everything we could possibly want here in terms of procedures and people. And it just felt like a good fit. I remember on my first day on the on the interview, I came into the team room, saw everyone working together, and one of the first things that me and uh, the other interviewees saw was the board. And when you look and see what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis, you see the complexity of cases that trainees and, and the faculty are doing every day, and that just stood out to me. I'm really proud of the environment we've been able to build at uh, the Medical College of Wisconsin. We have a state-of-the-art platform. We have this uh, space that is, I think, unique to IR in that it is equally spacious as the OR is or as the cath lab is. It was given the same allowances and space for IR, in fact, quite larger in some respects. Uh, we have state-of-the-art equipment. We have ample procedural rooms to be able to do the kinds of cutting edge treatments that we provide. And we also have access to two hybrid ORs uh, in which we work closely with our vascular surgery colleagues and do many joint cases. We have uh, a team that we've been able to establish and build that 
uh, help support our practice. When I first started, we were uh, a one to two APP physician extender practice, and now we have 10. Uh, the practice has grown tremendously and, and they're equally skilled and they learn about our environment and the different treatments that we can provide, uh, whether they're at our academic hospital or our community hospital. And uh, to see that grow and then further to see the clinic, uh, IR clinic grow from a small space within radiology when I first started to dedicated clinic space within the cancer center and dedicated space equal to that of our vascular surgery colleagues in the heart and vascular center and we have shared uh, resources there to be able to establish ourselves uh, as this clinical IR practice that warrants that type of resource allocation has been really a great thing to see over my time here. So when I was looking at uh, programs uh, to apply for for fellowship, the main things I wanted was a program that had you know the wide range of IR procedures and also that was clinically focused. Um, and in talking with people across the country at SIR and people back home, um, MCW's name always came up. Um, and so when I did my own research looking into it, um, I was able to see that they really did do the full range of IR and were clinically focused and had really good leadership. And I think one of the distinct uh uh, opportunities of our training program for our, our trainees is the opportunity for unique mentorship uh, within the field. I think any good IR residency training program is going to provide mentorship. Um, we're no different. But in addition to that, we can provide perspective on where the field of IR is going at a national or even global level. Uh, and that's because our faculty are frequently podium level content experts, speakers at national meetings, invited faculty have run national meetings within interventional radiology, whether they be SIR or SIO. They're on the boards of many of these organizations. They're frequently um, on advisory boards for uh, device innovation. They are leaders within our specialty, not just leaders at our local hospital. And so they really know uh, the cutting edge of IR from a procedural technical point of view, but also where the field itself is headed. Working with the attendings, honestly, is a, it's a great privilege. Um, they are so knowledgeable. They literally write the textbook chapters on various procedures, various um, topics within IR. So there's just so much wealth of knowledge that they can impart on us that, again, we can carry forward into our careers long term. I think the attendings are a key strength in this program. Here we have the right amount of faculty to provide a breadth of experience. There is Dr. Scheidt who brings in experience from the private practice world and Dr. Tutton who had been at a different institution and is back at MCW and uh, you just have a wide variety of you know teaching methods and I think that that provides you kind of the best foundation as you step out into the real world. Uh, the culture is very inviting. Everybody expects to do um, their job at a high level and a high efficiency. Um, and everybody from techs, nurses, the attendings, and all the staff on board, they all do a great job. It makes doing all the hard work that we have to do easy. I love living in Milwaukee. Um, I grew up in the Midwest, um, in Ohio, and so there's a lot of similarities between Midwestern cities. Milwaukee has a lot of major sports franchises, uh, baseball, basketball. Great food scene. My wife and I are uh, huge proponents of frozen custard and cheese curds. It has a strong Italian food scene, I think, which I did not expect in the land of cheese. There's plenty of outdoor activities. Uh, at the parks during the summer, they have traveling beer gardens that come to each park. So we're able to, on the weekends, go and meet up with um, my co-residents and have a beer and enjoy our time playing frisbee in the park. The summers here are just absolutely beautiful weather-wise, so I love to spend time out at the lakefront. One of my co-residents is married and has a number of kids, and there's a great school system, there's a number of family-friendly activities. So no matter who you are, from a single individual to an individual who's married with kids, there's something that you can find that will meet all your needs here. We strive to be the best. We're going to work hard. We're going to work together. 
We really want to be the best at our, at our craft, at our profession. Our goal is to be able to put out the best product uh, of our trainees so they can go out and succeed in an academic practice, succeed in a standalone IR practice, succeed in a mixed multi-specialty group practice, and know that they're going to bring the cutting edge clinical skills and technical skills uh, that anything in IR can cover. I think the, uh, the program was so just such a great experience for me as far as the cases you get to do, the people you get to work with, um, that I just couldn't imagine leaving after I was done.